The Tello by Rice Robotics is a tiny and lightweight drone with DJI technology and Intel computing power aboard. Learn how to fly drones, capture your first aerial photos and videos, fly indoors and start programming your first drone with software that is super easy to use. The Tello drone costs less than $100 and sounds like a lot of fun. Let's unveil its strengths and weaknesses. All product links can be found in the description below the video. Hey guys, what's up? It's me again, Tom from TDT Tom's Tech Time with this new episode about the RISE Tello drone. RISE was founded 2017 in Shenzhen in China and it basically is a tiny tech startup that is somehow connected to DJI and to Intel because this tiny drone features DJI technology and Intel computing power, which sounds really awesome. Let's take a closer look at the specs and after that at the flight modes and at what else we can do with this tiny drone. The RISE Robotics Tello drone is tiny. It measures 9.8 by 9.2 by 4.1 cm only. Every propeller measures 7.6 cm. Put on a scale, the drone unveils a total takeoff weight of just 80 grams. It is therefore lightweight enough not to be registered with the authorities in most countries. Its half grey, half white body is made out of plastic and next to the necessary components it inside hides a barometer with which the drone nicely keeps its height. The tiny Adventurer drone uses brushed motors. They are not as efficient as brushless motors that larger drones use but they make the drone cheap and affordable while still offering enough power to speed up the tiny drone to a maximum speed of approximately 30 km per hour. It at the one side features a power button and on the other side a USB jack. In the front, RISE installed a tiny Statues LED. Four rubber landing leg extensions ease rougher landings and ensure a longer lifetime. The drone gets its power from a small battery with a maximum capacity of 1100 mAh. An average flight time of approximately 12 minutes can be called impressive and charging a battery through the USB jack of the drone takes around one and a half hours. At its bottom, the Tello has ventilation openings and ground sensors. Let's take a closer look at them. One of the most amazing features that RISE Robotics installed to the Tello is its bottom sensors, the vision system. The vision system tracks the ground below the drone and therefore allows the drone without GPS and anything to hover really precisely. That is really important because the RISE Tello drone was made to be flown indoors. And indoors I always had the problems with the tiny drones that they just take off and they just crash here into an obstacle, crash there into an obstacle. And now let's take a look how the Tello behaves. Let's just make it fly and you can see I am not touching the controls at all. And there is no GPS installed to this drone. And take a look how incredibly safe it hovers. And that is again due to the amazing bottom sensors that is really a rarity in this category of drones. You can easily have a drink while the drone is hovering and now we can level the sound approximately 73 decibels. That is how loud the drone indoors is when being about one meter away of the drone. Really, really very sweet that RISE Robotics install that and now let's hand land the drone. Ta-da! Really safe. The drone operates on the 2.4 GHz frequency and is being controlled by a smartphone or tablet. The maximum distance is 100 meters. This value is hard to reach and only read from the tech specs. Usually the connection drops earlier as in urban areas there are too many devices causing interference and outdoors there are too many obstacles in the way to reach 100 meters. A range of about 40 to 50 meters comes closer to what you will experience in real life situations. The altitude meanwhile is limited to 10 meters above the takeoff position. To extend the range of the Tello you need only two devices. Firstly a power bank just a mobile power bank with a USB output 
10,000 milliamp hours should be perfectly fine and you need a Wi-Fi range extender that is USB based. I have product links to both in the description below the video. What you basically do is you just insert the stick into the battery, then you connect your smartphone to the Wi-Fi range extender instead of the drone and then you can fly out the Tello for 100 meters. That really works even though you should not overdo it because you should keep in mind that the Tello drone does not return in case of an emergency, it just auto lands. So you should really not fly it out too far. But if you want to take some video recordings, you can really strengthen the signal plus that you can fly further when using the combination of the Wi-Fi range extender and the portable power bank. For those wanting more comfort, it is possible to attach an external Bluetooth or this retro game vice controller that I can highly recommend that not only lets you play thousands of games, but that allows you to more smoothly and precisely operate the Tello. It is available in different sizes for different devices. Whatever controller you're using, the drone still communicates with the smartphone or as shown before with the Wi-Fi range extender. In the description below the video, you will not only find the Tello's product link, but you will find the product links to all recommended accessories for the tiny Rise Tello drone. Now check them out. The drone has some cool flight modes aboard. It can, for example, do crazy flips by just swiping with the finger over the screen. Or it can circle an object automatically, which is very cool, especially because the tiny drone has no GPS aboard, but still does a quite good job. Next, the Tello lets you record videos in which it rotates around its own axis. And the bounce mode? Well, I'm not having a clue what this mode is good for, but yeah, it, it, it's quite fun for 30 seconds. Up and away records a short video while flying up and backward. This creates little shots for social media. The tiny Tello drone records MP4 videos in 720p, 1280 by 720 with up to 4 megabits per second. The image, even though it is not stabilized by a gimbal, looks pretty okay for a drone that costs less than $100. That is because the digital image stabilization does a nice job. Some other drones that cost 3 times as much deliver results that are shakier. Unfortunately, because the files get saved onto the attached phone and not onto a micro SD card or internal storage, the video files sometimes Sometimes look choppy because all artifacts and dropouts caused by interference in flight are being recorded. The 5 megapixels JPEG photos with a resolution of 2592 by 1936 let you take sweet selfies and first aerial impressions. To download pictures and videos from the drone, tap at the playback button at the upper right, choose either photos or videos, click select and start marking the files that you want to download. Now tap the little arrow symbol and click at save files to your device. The videos or photos have now been stored into the phone's regular media folder. Both original photo and video files recorded with the Rise Tello drone can be found on www .tomstechtime.com slash drone footage. You can take a look at the original untouched creations of this tiny drone and can check out the quality yourself. The Rise Tello can be used to quickly and with fun learn the first magic steps of programming. You can connect a computer and put together missions or do it with specific smartphone apps within seconds as shown here. Pre-plan the flight from takeoff to the flight route to landing. certain patterns and let the drone evolve by using the logic, the math and the variables menu. You can always study the code too. Finally, we could click at launch mission to let the drone do the job. Links to the different computer and smartphone programs and apps can be found in the description below the video. You can as well attach virtual reality glasses to your smartphone and then you can uh, take a look at your recordings from the virtual reality perspective, even though this function is really limited. Uh, but in case you want to get one of the virtual reality glasses, you'll find the best rated ones 
in the description below the video. The pros and the cons briefly summarized. The most significant disadvantage of the drone is its missing microSD card slot. The videos recorded are often choppy and working on even small film projects is a very difficult challenge. Another con is the range. Without a Wi-Fi repeater, you are too often screwed as the connection usually drops after a few meters already. You are lucky if you reach more than 50 meters under normal circumstances. The drone's batteries have to be charged while being placed inside the drone. That is annoying. Only if you buy an external charger, you can get around this problem. The the Tello app is young and therefore not perfect yet, some information like flight telemetry is missing and the VR function is weak. I'm sure though that with time it will be more intuitive. On the pro side let's firstly list the price, 99 US dollars. That is amazing. The pricing might have changed by the time that you're watching this video, please click the product link in the description to see the current price. Next the Tello uses DJI and Intel hard and software and places its reliability far ahead of many other toy drones. One of the most impressive features of the Tello is its ease of use. Everyone can control it easily, kids, beginners, pros, people who usually not deal with fancy technology at all, just everyone. The capability to learn to code with the drone is insane and should be named more often. Reading and studying codes and writing them manually is not only thrilling, but it can be the first step towards a career in technology even. If you have a kid, then just invest the $99, I promise it is not wasted if your kid has a general interest. In technology, I would have loved to have such a fun device to learn the first steps and coding when I was younger. The drone's vision sensors that keep it safely in place while hovering are doing a great job and have to be mentioned. The approximately 12 minutes of flight time of the tiny drone are impressive, just as the low takeoff weight of just 80 grams that won't get you into trouble when it comes to registration processes in most countries as often drones that weigh less than 250 grams don't need to be registered at all. The capability to take first aerial selfies is cool and the smart modes do a proper job. We should always remember that the drone costs less than $100 only. The Wi-Fi connection establishes fast and without any problems and you can connect cool controllers to your smartphone. When being connected to a mobile Wi-Fi range extender, you can hit the 100 meters mark and ensure a dropout free connection between drone and remote controller. You find links to all recommended accessories and the drone itself in the description below the video. Even though the tiny Rise Robotics Tello drone is not a good choice when wanting to create aerials, it is a good choice to start drone flying with. It is safe to fly, it is super easy to fly, and it is just not one of these tiny drones that you buy at a supermarket and then crash right into a wall. And even if you do, usually the Tello drone survives that. I mean, I only have one test model and it crashed a couple of times already and it still is completely fine and can fly perfectly stable. All product links can be found in the description below the video. And right now, don't forget to leave a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to never ever miss any of my upcoming episodes again. And before I say bye bye, I want to recommend you to click at another product link in the description below the video. There is an alternative drone that I highly recommend if you are really into creating aerials and you want a decent beginner's drone, click at that link and you'll find out more. Now stay tuned and fly safe.